how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well today is a really exciting day because finally i was able to get my hands on one of the most anticipated updates of 2025 and that is the color os 16 guys this is my oppo find x8 and it is already running the latest and greatest color os 16 which is based on android 16 well after using this beta for a while I can confidently tell you that the ColorOS or the OxygenOS definitely comes in my top 3 favorite Android skins. This is actually a big update in terms of new features, a lot of customizations, visual enhancements and the animations are insanely smooth. I haven't seen such fluid and buttery smooth animations on any Android phone. So we'll discuss everything about the ColorOS 16 in this video. And all these features are also coming to your OnePlus in the form of Oxygen 16. So if you are a OnePlus user, then you can watch this video too. It's gonna be a super exciting video. So stay tuned and watch it until the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. All right, guys, starting things with the lock screen. And let me tell you one thing straight away. This is the best lock screen customization you can get on any phone right now. I mean, they have completely nailed in terms of customization features. First things first, we now get the full screen always on display with the wallpaper on just like the One UI and iOS. And when you just tap and go to the lock screen, this is absolutely gorgeous to look at. They have got the new transparent kind of a frosted glass effect to the lock screen clock and widgets. Although it might be inspired by iOS 26, I still love how they have beautifully implemented it with their own fonts and style. It does look absolutely stunning. And by the way, if you love these kind of amazing wallpapers, although I'm also using ColorOS 16 wallpapers in this video, some of them like these ones are downloaded from an app called ScreenCraft. It's an app that I personally worked on with a good friend and a very talented developer. You guys have been asking about the wallpapers that I use on my phones. So now you can consider this app like your one-stop shop to find and download such awesome wallpapers. Definitely check this one out. Link will be provided in the description below. Now coming back to ColorOS 16, though they have added incredible features to the lock screen, we still do not have the option to long press and go directly to the customization page, which is kind of a bummer. But when you simply open the settings page and go to the home screen and lock screen customization section, here you get this all new interface that I think looks really really good. We've got all the lock screen customization options at the top and below when you swipe down, you get more options related to the wallpaper, AOD, icons and more. Not just that, when you swipe and move from one theme to another, you get this reflection right below the lock screen that looks super cool. Like this, we've got so many cool animations and graphics implemented all across the UI which I'll be showing throughout the video. Now when you tap and go inside the customization page, here you can choose between three different clock styles and as you can see, we can also add widgets to the lock screen and the widget placement changes automatically depending on the clock style that you choose. You can add up to eight different widgets to the lock screen and I just love the way how they have implemented all this. You have got depth effect, you can obviously change the clock color and it can even let you choose the shortcuts too. But the coolest part is when you have to enter the passcode or PIN, you will notice the liquid glass implementation here and when you press any number, it glows up and the reflection goes on to the other buttons too. Similarly, you get the same glass effect inside the calculator app and when you press any button, the reflection looks really really cool. Now coming back to the lock screen customizations, yes, we still have a lot of things to discuss here. Remember we had flux themes in ColorOS 15, now they have added a ton of new themes and designs that will take your lock screen customization to a whole new level. There are some really beautiful animated themes. Then there is a live clock section which again looks stunning. There are themes with different codes and motivations. If you want, you can enable or disable the live effect as well. Finally, it lets you change the text on your lock screen which wasn't the case with ColorOS 15. So you can add your own text and personalize the lock screen as per your need. Not just that, you also get the option to choose different fonts. And the way they have designed all these beautiful themes is just incredible. There are a ton of different styles you can choose from and trust me all these are gorgeous to look at. I'm sure you're definitely gonna keep staring at your lock screen for a while. Now if I talk about the home screen, here also they have done quite a few changes. First we'll start with the icons. 
well some of the system icons have been redesigned but what's more interesting here is that the icons are now scalable you just need to long press on any icon and you get the option to resize it however you want to it even lets you add shortcuts related to that specific app i think this can be super useful at times and the best part is that it even works for third party apps too not just that if you go inside the app icon settings here we have a brand new toggle that says auto dark icons once you toggle this on when you apply the dark theme on your phone all your app icons will now have a dark background including the enlarge icons too so we finally got the dark icon support on color os 16 another interesting change is now you can choose between three different layouts for the app folders and even the widgets page is now redesigned and look a lot cleaner you first tap on the app and then it shows you all the available widgets related to that thing they have added a couple of new clocks batteries as well as some of the stock widgets both in color os and oxygen os 16 and now you can actually resize the widgets too next up the app drawer also has some useful changes first the search bar is now at the bottom for easier access and when you click on it it has a nice bouncy animation now on the top you'll see two options we have all apps and categories all apps is your standard app drawer but when you click on the category section it automatically sort your apps and put them in different folders again something that is not new and you might already have seen this in other uis but the fact that you can access two different app drawers is actually a nice thing Another cool stuff they did with the app drawer is when you scroll through different alphabets in the drawer, you can only see those apps that starts with the exact letter and it almost feels like an overlay which does look really cool. Next, let's talk about the quick settings and this might look very similar at first but there are some important changes and tweaks. First when you tap on the edit button, I won't say it is fully customizable but now you can finally reposition the volume and brightness slider. There is also an option to add two additional big tiles at the top portion and it's actually been divided into two different sections where the first part is more customizable than the other. Then if you go inside the quick settings option, here you can choose between the classic and split mode but what's new here is they have added multicolor option which adds different colors to your tiles making it more attractive. So these are the changes they have made to the quick settings panel. Moving on to one of my favorite parts of ColorOS 16 and that is the animations. Last year both Oppo and OnePlus did a fantastic job adding parallel animations but this time they have taken it to a whole new level. Oppo is calling it seamless animations and the integration in the whole UI feels a lot smoother and fluid. I mean obviously the app opening and closing animations got better compared to the previous version but not just that, every single action you do on the ColorOS 16 feels so satisfying and smooth. When you open the app drawer and click on the search bar, you get this bouncy effect. Then when you go to the categories page and open any of the folder, you get this nice and smooth animation. Even when you open and close the sidebar, you now have this seamless animation that just feels really really nice. Not just that, the transition from the AOD to the lock screen and then when you unlock your phone, accessing the quick settings and also when you open and close apps even from the enlarge icons it still maintains the fluidity and smoothness when opening the recent apps menu and swiping over different applications or when adding screenshots to the mind space feature and when switching between different activities inside the capsule every single thing feels so satisfying on color os thanks to the integration of seamless animations honestly i think this is the smoothest experience you can get on any android phone and guys i'm planning to make a separate video comparing the animations with other android skins so stay tuned for that now let's talk about some visual changes inside the settings app first of all if you go to the about phone section it now shows the software version that is running on your phone instead of the phone name Next, when you go inside the battery, it's been completely transformed with three different modes at the top followed by the stats which looks pretty clean and clutter free compared to the previous version. The sliders also look a bit bolder and thicker in ColorOS 16. Then there is also a separate page for all the AI features which were not there before and they are calling it as Oppo AI. We have Mindspace, AI Writer, AI Translate and we now have something called AI Search and when you go inside and turn this on, this makes searching inside the settings or native apps a lot easier. So you can just type my eyes are hurting and it will show you the related options such as eye comfort. Similarly if I search my phone is not ringing, it will show the options to turn off the silent mode. 
So the AI search comes in really handy when you're not able to find a specific setting. Apart from this, if you talk about some more AI features, the updated AI writer is now well integrated when you're using social apps on your phone. For example, let's say if you want to post something on Instagram or Twitter, but you are struggling to find some nice caption, you can just hit on the AI writer and it automatically detects the picture to give you some suggestions based on that. So you can literally write some really good captions without manually doing anything. There is also the integration of Gemini with the Mindspace feature. So you can ask questions or anything related to the content you have saved inside the Mindspace and the Gemini will provide you with the information instantly. So these are all the new features and changes they have made with ColorOS or the OxygenOS 16. And I think they have done a fantastic job with this Android 16 update. Not only do we get some amazing customizations, seamless and buttery smooth animations, the visual changes and enhancement are also top notch and some additions to the AI features are super useful too. I think this has easily become my favorite Chinese skin when we compare it with the other options available right now. Do let me know in the comment section which is your favorite feature of ColorOS 16 and if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.